Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I mainly cover tactical and immersive games. As you can see in today's video, I'm showcasing to you all Steel Beast Pro, which is more so of a simulator than a game like Gunner PC, Arma, or Squad, which I'll talk about more about those in a bit. In this video, I just want to talk about my initial impressions after playing it for some time, and just to show you how it looks like for those who are curious about this simulator. Before I go on, I know a lot of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet. So please be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed my content, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave that like. For those who don't know what Steel Beast Pro, it is a true tank simulator. And what I mean by true is that it is actually a tank simulator that is made for commercial use for those who are in the military or in the industry. It's not really marketed for gamers, which is why this isn't on Steam. But gamers and those who are enthusiasts can definitely try it out and play it. Essentially, it is an armored simulator that is focused on combined arms tactics from the platoon and all the way up to the battalion level, which I'll talk about my impressions in a second. To give you guys some background, when I first did my Gunner Heat PC video, I got a lot of comments from people talking about how it looks like Steel Beast Pro and how the game looks like. And some of you even encouraged me to try it out. When I first saw it, I was like, I don't think I can afford it at this time. And that's when I learned that Steel Beast Pro was intended for those who are really into true simulators, and I can understand why they were selling it like that. So you might be wondering, how did I get into that and why did I get into it? The first is that there are options to try out this full sim, which I don't know if a lot of people know this, but what I mean by that is not in terms of the affordability, but in terms of accessing this game. If you look at the website, you'll see that there are a number of ways to buy it. You can also buy the full version, which comes with the USB stick for your license, or you can buy the temporary license ranging from one month, which is the one I got, simply because I didn't know if I would like it with all the learning curves, which I'll talk about later in this video. There's also four months to one year, which isn't too bad in terms of pricing. If I remember correctly, you also get the most recent version of the simulator. I guess for those who are very hesitant on the pricing, you can try it out like a subscription base. So the second reason of how and why I got into this simulator is because there's a number of vehicles that you can crew in. Steel Beast Pro offers a lot of vehicles from Humvees, MRAPs, and even the different numbers of IFVs and tanks like the T-80 and even the Leopard 2 which I have chosen to start and to learn with. And since this is a simulator, there's definitely more accuracy in terms of how it feels and the damage. And lastly, what attracted me to try out Steel Beast Pro is that I really want to learn more about the tanks and how to even deploy the proper tank tactics. It's not to say that Gunner Heat PC hasn't fulfilled this. In fact, I would say because of Gunner Heat PC is that I really want to learn more. It doesn't have the most prettiest or up-to-date graphics, but I don't think that really matters for something like Steel Beast Pro. At the end of the day, Steel Beast is a more established simulator that you can use to learn from your success and even your costly failures which I think is good if you really want to learn more about tanks. This video isn't meant to be a comparison, but I definitely learn a lot from Gunner Heat PC, and Gunner Heat PC does take the both of the best of game mechanics and simulation together. I guess in other words, what I'm trying to say is that Gunner Heat PC really encouraged me to go for something more. And so I guess my approach is that I'm coming from a Gunner Heat PC player into Steel Beast Pro. So in short, Steel Beast Pro does have some options to make it affordable, Secondly, there are a lot of vehicles to try out and to learn with. And thirdly, I definitely do see Steel Beast Pro as a great learning tool and Gunning PC has definitely pushed me to go for more of that. I hope this all makes sense. Before I go on and talk about the gameplay, I do want to talk about if Steel Beast Pro is for everyone. And my quick answer to that is no, not really, because there's a big learning curve in this simulator, especially for the vehicles that you really want to get good at. Thankfully, there are tutorials, but some of them are quite long, but if you have the patience and heart to learn, then I think it's really worth it. There's also the pacing and timing of missions. There are short missions and there are long missions that go up to like two hours. So it can be pretty intimidating. So yeah, for those who play both Gunner Heat PC and Steel Beast Pro, let me know your thoughts. I definitely do want to dialogue and hear from you. So I'm going to show you guys some gameplay mechanics and also the interior of the Leopard. Don't forget to hit that like if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to help my small channel to grow and to stay up to date on my content. Alright, so this is the mission briefing for Stoopies Pro. It's all text and word based. And as you can see, we're doing a gunnery test and targets will appear one at a time at different ranges. Scoring is based on how accurately and quickly you hit the targets. And they won't be firing back at us, so we don't have to worry about getting hit or anything like that. So we're good for the tank, we're going to be using the Leopard 2A5. And that's the tank that I started with, and 
that I'm more familiar with in SteelBeast Pro. Of course, I'm still still learning, and we're going to be looking eastwards for targets. I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so right now we're in the gunnery view. And also turn on the thermals here. Got a target right there. Dynamic lead. I'm holding P and fire. It's a hit. Even though the hit is back. So I'm gonna keep scanning. So if you're coming from Gunner Heat PC, it's kind of it's almost similar in terms of the, the view. It's not too foreign. And fire. I think that bounced, but I think we got him. Okay, you got eight more targets left. So if my laser rangefinder is flashing double, then it means I'm getting a double return, so... In terms of the numbers in the laser rangefinder, it's a little bit different than, like, the Abrams. So if it's, like, 1,000, then it'll be, like, a, it'll look like 100. Double return. So usually, from what I heard for double returns, they usually count the, the shorter one first. So that was a hit. And the PC. The commander can control your gun, but they won't shoot it for you. But you can't do that if you're a TC. Ooh, that's a big lead right there. And we got him. Five more targets. Let's see if we can get him. That might miss. Might have moved a bit. And fire. For one miss. It's a hit. Scanning. Lead. Quite a far one. Let's get hit. Okay, got three more targets. Scanning. Scanning. There go. BRDM right there. Turn. Fire. Ooh. Let's get hit. We got two more. Tank. Fire. Fire stable. And lead. Keep round. Target. Oh, we got him. We got one more. I'm gonna keep scanning. I see right there. Ooh, that's a hit. And we got him. See how we did. Alright, so this is the after action report. So my hit percentage was 90%, and I missed about, well, you know, one. So I got 10 out of 11, and my average time to kill was 9.8 seconds. So not too bad overall. And. I guess for me, when I first started off, my hip, I definitely missed a lot more and my average time to kill was a lot longer. And it's kind of nice to see that I improved over time, just practicing and play with the Leopard. And that's one way of testing out your familiarity with the tank is through just practicing and just, you know, knowing where you need to improve on. And so that's the, I guess, the shooting mechanics of Steel Beast Pro. There's definitely a lot more to learn in Steel Beast and a lot more mechanics and just controls that you need to be familiar with. All right, so this is the beautiful, sexy leopard beast, as you can see here, with the Bundesfeer emblems to the side. Carry the commander's spot first. I'm in the commander's perspective right now, and through the front is the thermal imaging system, you can see here. You can zoom in, see the infantry models, 
can identify targets. And you can also use the scope here to also identify if you need to, if your thermals are down. You can also pop out as well. You use a binox to identify targets here. And for the tank emitter, you can actually con to control the main gun identify. if you need to. So right now, I am controlling it. So I'm going to get him to target that PC right there. Identified. He's identified. Put back control. And go fire, fire heat. On the way. Okay, that's a good hit. Cease fire. So for the gunner's perspective, this is how it looks like. You got the main sights here, and then to your left is the auxiliary. So this is how it looks like with the thermals on. You can also turn it off too. You can zoom out with it. And to the left is the auxiliary sights, which for some reason squad loves to use as their main sights, which is kind of weird. And then to the right, you can actually manually control the distance and range here. So 400 meters to 1100 meters. To the right is the stabilization and stuff like that. And another feature is the out of sight range, which resets the range to a thousand meters. After you finish your engagements, you can just press the battle site range and it will reset the range to a thousand. So now I'm back on the tank commander's perspective and our loader is looking at me right there. So I'm going to get him to hit the targets, the tank targets right there identify. as a tank commander. So I'm going to tell my gunner to identify and then, no, not that. Identify. So I'm gonna the get the sable up. So as a tank commander, you can actually change the ammunition types as well. Sable up. The hit. One more to the right. Ooh, good hit. Nice. Still, still up. You might lose him in the bit. There you go. We got him. Like there's a tank to our right. We're going to identify that. Okay, and fire. It's a hit. Enemy tank right there. I think that's the last tank that we got. Let's see if we can get him. Identified. No, I don't want that. Bruh. Okay, there he goes. And All fire. Way. Bounced. Fire. Ah. All the way. Ooh, good hit. There you go. That was it. Alright, so that's pretty much it that I wanted to show you guys. The tank commander's perspective. Because in Subi's Pro, you can play different roles, such as the driver, the gunner, and also the tank commander, too. So, as a tank commander, you can actually control your AI gunner to identify and to hit targets as well too so that's one of the neat features of steel beast pro that i want to show you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my first steel beast video and my journey into it let me know in the comments below if you want to see more steel beast pro missions don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to stay up to date and to help my small channel to grow i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed